Today's video is brought to you by privacy.com. Privacy allows you to use virtual credit cards at checkout so you can protect your financial information online. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of today's video to learn more and also use the link down below to get a free $5 when you sign up. Hey, what's up guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros and today we're gonna to be doing a $500 ray tracing build. All right guys, so this PC build is a ray tracing build and we actually had to do an audible because we made a mistake, but this concept is more or less a test to see exactly how well you could run ray tracing titles on budget hardware. Now, by no means do we absolutely recommend you go out of your way to get this configuration put together because it's going to be bottleneck city most likely, but we're trying to redeem ourselves from a previous challenge that we did where we used the Xeon, weren't able to overclock it and didn't really get much performance out of it. So this build might honestly be better than that Xeon build. So this comes in at close to $500. Really, it's cheaper technically if you kind of do the math, but so we're going to be upgrading the RAM, we're going to be upgrading the power supply, and then we're going to be throwing the graphics card into it. And we'll talk about all those parts in just a second. So what we have here is an Optiplex 390 that we snagged for about 50 bucks. These things are really easy and common to find for around 50 bucks. And this feature is an i5-2400. We have a generic Dell power supply that we're going to be upgrading with another power supply that Matt will talk about. And also the graphics card, we're basically upgrading like everything in this besides the processor. As far as like storage goes, we're going to go ahead and put a 240 gig A data SSD in it, which is going to lightning speed this thing up because you see this right here? That's a hard drive, kids. You don't, yeah. you don't want these anymore. They're just, yeah. they're gross. And then for RAM, we're going to be putting in 1600 megahertz DDR3 and it's 16 gigs of team group RAM. It's nice black looking RAM and it's really cheap. So it's kind of why we went with it. We just wanted 16 gigs at the cheapest price we could find it. Now we have to give a big thanks to NVIDIA for sending over this 2060. They wanted to challenge us to see if we could run some of the latest and greatest games that have ray tracing on board using the cheapest ray tracing card that you can get right now, the RTX 2060, which this is the reference model. There are a ton of different aftermarket versions. They're actually much easier to get and will perform way better in terms of cooling. So check in the description down below if you're looking to configure something like this. Uh, but the 2060 with 6 gigs of VRAM is more than enough to play games at 1080p and even 1440p if you want to. Um, as just a normal graphics card, it's a great option, but the main focus is ray tracing, and we're gonna be testing games like Call of Duty, which do come with ray tracing on board, and we're gonna see exactly how it performs when in this PC right here. Now, there's no way with the power supply that's in this thing right now that we're gonna be able to add an RTX 2060, uh, let alone any graphics card, really, that requires external power. So what we're gonna be doing is upgrading this thing with our favorite Thermaltake Smart Series power supply. By no means is this the most high-quality power supply out there, but it's the most readily available one on Amazon, you can get it shipped to your door with prime shipping. Uh, around 40 bucks is a decent price for power supplies considering how high the prices are right now. Um, and it's a normal form factor, which these Obdiplexes, which are really great by the way, uh, can support a normal form factor power supply. So it's really easy to upgrade them with more wattage. So how about we go ahead and uh, upgrade this thing real quick and then we can dive into how this thing performs with ray tracing and see how severe the bottleneck is. Because yes, we do know there's gonna be a bottleneck. We'll talk more about that at the end of the video. Bottleneck! Alright guys, so the first game we are going to be testing is Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, we have a game code that we're going to give you guys. So uh, be sure to uh, wait till the end to learn how to win that. But ray tracing in Call of Duty is actually pretty self-explanatory. You just go into the settings, you scroll down here to uh, DX ray tracing and you enable it. And ray tracing is really not as demanding in this as well. So we're gonna see with like normal settings at 1080p, we'll probably drop this down to normal just to be safe, uh, with an unlimited frame rate cap, see exactly what kind of performance we can get in game. 
All right, so over here watching Matt play, looks like we're getting almost 100 FPS at times. This is uh, just some good old shoot house. You know, it's a smaller map, nice, nice and loud. We're getting some some gunshots in action, but we are hitting some lows here and there um, of like 30 FPS whenever like we're respawning and stuff. But honestly, it's pretty insane to be able to do this with ray tracing on with a $50 PC. I mean, we've done a couple upgrades to make it a little bit um, better, but really for gaming, it's not going to do much. I mean, the, adding the RAM um, from 8 gigs and adding the SSD over the hard drive really won't affect gaming much. So this is about what you'll get with a $50 computer like this. Okay, good. Make sure. All right, let's try to actually kill somebody here. Assist. Okay, that's fine. Grenade. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the one. Oh, it is counter UAV. All right, good. But yeah, 80 FPS is, I mean, more than playable at 1080p. There's definitely a CPU bottleneck though. That's like something we totally knew was gonna happen. Um, but I mean, if you really wanna see ray tracing on Call of Duty, oh, I got somebody. Um, you can most definitely do that with this setup. Uh, there is like a little bit of lag when loading in, but on a close quarters map like this and people with sniper rifles, Dude, they got that scrambler going again. Yeah, yeah. Straight scramble, looking like your graphics card's dying. And really, as far as uh, upgrades go, the only thing I could really think of recommending at this point, um, if you do like the exact same build, would be getting the i7. It's really the only next worthy upgrade that makes sense. Oh <laughs> my god. We're not Woo. dead yet, boys. Kill streak. Nade! Flash. Oh, I hit somebody. Go get him. Hello. Oh my and gosh, we got, got a kill it. Streak. But yeah, no, Call of Duty is definitely more than playable with ray tracing on. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and test the two other titles that actually support ray tracing so you can see uh, another example of ray tracing in a different use case. All right, guys, the next game we're going to be testing is going to push this 2060 to its limits. This is Battlefield 5 with ray tracing. It's one of the first games to come out with ray tracing and has been known to be very demanding with ray tracing. So on settings right now, we're running about medium-ish with ray tracing on in DX12. So we're going to kind of see what we're working with here. Uh, we're going to run one of the War Story missions uh, this one right here. Um, and we're gonna see exactly what kind of performance we can get. I really don't care. Uh, let's do easy so I don't die. Um, and yeah, let's get right into it. You'll find a way. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in right now. We are using a whopping 10 gigs of RAM right now. So it's, that just tells you how this is going. Uh, but we are running on normal settings with ray tracing on. Uh, this is normally like the most demanding scene that people use for benchmarking with ray tracing on Battlefield 5. So we'll see exactly how this looks when we get out. We can look at our reflections in the puddle and, you know, <laughs> have a grand old time. But this is kind of what I was getting on the old, uh, uh, like, Xeon ray tracing setup. You can see, we can see, let's go walking through the puddles. Oh man, look at that glorious lag. Ray tracing, man. Still very demanding. All right, so let's keep going here and see what kind of frame we can get after we uh, get away from all of the ray tracing. It's definitely the i5 holding it back though. Oh yeah, that i5 is pinged at 100%. Hello? There we go, that's it right there. Grenade. But yeah, this is this is the one situation where we were pretty much certain that this is where the bottleneck was going to occur. What is this? No, what this. What's that guy doing? Double tap. <laughs> Double tap. Uh, and it, it's definitely occurring right now. Uh, the poor RTX 2060 really doesn't have a chance to stretch its legs. Um, but, you know, kind of what we expected. Ray tracing is very demanding. Um, and we're going to run around here and see if we can kill some people. Uh, oh God, I should have ran in there. Further in there, dude. No, get me out of here. This is not where I wanted to be. Ah, 15 HP in a dream. You like heal? I don't know. Ah, hit him. Ah, oh, come on, you killed him. Ruined my fun. What the heck was that? I don't know. It's all like all like stop motion. <laughs> but yeah, here we go. That is Battlefield 5. Looks pretty, but you know, 30 FPS. 
on to the next game. All right, guys, so here we have Quick 2. Yeah, this, this is the OG throwback here, but we got ray tracing turned on. I have no clue where the heck I am right now. Um, yeah, this is actually a really old game that they basically um, added ray tracing to, and actually, you know, it's a pretty good improvement over what the original graphics were like. Pretty impressive. You can see the, the i5 is actually um, really not being pushed that hard now. It's only had a like 20% and the graphics card is actually carrying like all the weight. <clears throat> Obviously this was like the original game. Nothing would be stretching its legs. Everything would be like lowest, uh, you know, percentage as possible basically because this is just such an old game. But because of that ray tracing and it kind of sharpening everything up and just making everything look better, you can, s oh gosh, an enemy. You can see that we're uh, we're actually struggling at times, you know. So we tend to spend our money a bit recklessly when it comes to buying PC parts from sketchy CPUs off AliExpress to power supplies off eBay that could be considered time bombs to some people. But one thing we don't like to be reckless with is our banking information, and that is where today's video sponsor Privacy comes in. Privacy allows you to mask your bank information behind a virtual credit card that you can set spending limits on and even lock to specific vendors like Amazon Newegg and even AliExpress. Setting up a privacy card is very easy as well. All you need to do is create an account, link a bank account or a credit card, and click new card to generate a card that fits your needs. Privacy is now introducing different plans. You can still use the free version that gives you up to 12 cards per month, but they also offer a pro version for $10 a month that gives you up to 36 cards and 1% cash back on all your purchases. And if you happen to own a small business, you could pay $25 a month for the Teams version that gives you up to 60 cards a month and also that 1% cash back with detailed tracking of spending. So, not sure if we mentioned this, but the best part here is we're giving our viewers a free $5. Yeah, free $5 to buy whatever you want. Just sign up and create a card. That's all you got to do. Just make sure you link your bank and there you go, 5 bucks. Who doesn't love free money, right? All you have to do is go to privacy.com slash toastybros and sign up today. And thanks again to Privacy for making today's video possible. Go get yourself some free monies. All right, guys. So, you just saw some really crazy RTX ray tracing benchmarks on this freaking $50 computer and let us tell you what we thought about them. Overall, they were okay. Battlefield 5 was as we expected. It was going to be a struggle. That game is just really demanding when ray tracing is enabled. Even if this 2060 was in a more comparable system, it would still struggle a bit. Uh, but overall, in games like Call of Duty, where you just set things to normal and enable ray tracing, it does work. Now, the ray tracing implementation in the game like Call of Duty is not that extreme, so you're really not going to notice a whole lot of visual effects, but it's still cool that you can enable ray tracing using an RTX 2060 and a computer that costs 50 bucks and it could work. Again, do we recommend it? Yeah. No, definitely not. We don't recommend you do this. This is more of an experiment to show you some of the stuff that's coming um, and also give you an outlook of future games that may be coming, like Minecraft Ray Tracing, which I think is going to be one of the best implementations because I've always been a fan of shaders and having Ray Tracing built into Minecraft when that officially comes. It's going to be really cool, and this kind of configuration would actually thrive in that. So if you guys want to actually know like the, the proper matching for this 2060 where you're not having like insane bottleneck differences, getting something like a Ryzen 5 from AMD would work pretty well in you know, like a 2600, even a 3600 if you can afford it. Um, that would be a much better pair with this graphics card and it would make the system overall like 8 million times better and make it way more stable because we did have a stability issue here and there just because you're, we're talking about like a 10 year old computer here with like a brand new graphics card and we're trying to game on it and I'm honestly impressed that we were even able to do that. And speaking of Call of Duty ray tracing, we also have a Call of Duty Modern Warfare key to give away. Thanks to NVIDIA for supplying us an extra key, you know, helping us out and also helping one of you guys out. So how to win that is once this video is posted, we'll also make a post at the same time on Instagram where all you gotta really do is follow the Instagram. Uh, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and also, you know, just leave a comment down below and we'll pick from the comments. So thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Bye. Ray tracing. Ray tracing. Ray tracing. Ray tracing. Ray tracing.